What up y'all and welcome back to another one. I am excited for these videos right here. Yes, this is the JK Armament 12 gauge suppressor. If you guys wanna learn about it, hear me talk about it, go over the specs, all of the details, go watch the first silencer video I put up a couple weeks ago. I have been wanting one for so long, finally got our hands on it, and boy howdy do I have a lot of learning to do when it comes to that shot. I still haven't shot a bird out of the air. I have not shot at a target like we're getting ready to do. So, these videos will be very short. Go to the information so we all can learn not long videos, y'all. Welcome back to the old Mythbuster videos. You remember those. I will always link JK Armament, the website, to check out this bad boy and purchase it down in the description below on all of these suppressor videos. Awesome company, amazing customer service, will never, ever, ever leave you hanging. They can make one for any shotgun that you have, guaranteed. But guys, sorry for the wind. Uh, I've been waiting for a non-windy day and I don't think that's gonna happen. First of all, smash the thumbs up button if you like these videos. Cause I know I do. All right, yeah, I didn't go to Walmart or anywhere and buy patterning paper. I have these, some old snow goose silhouettes. They're just pretty trashed, old, brittle. I don't use them, don't need them. And what the system is here, going uphill, we'll have our first target at 20 yards. Again, sorry for the wind. Second target, 30 yards. Third target, 40 yards. The 40 yard one from the shooting point looks long. Good thing is today the wind is coming from the back, so we'll be shooting with it. And this is where I'll be standing. I'm gonna steady up against the golf cart here so I can be nice and steady on my shots. Yeah, look at that, that 40 yard, man, she looks long. Now, I thought to myself, Bob, what's the best way to do this? And I think running the full choke first. This is my go-to choke, the Ducks Waterfowl Choke. It's a long range. Um, not real tight, but just perfect. And uh, I'm going to use this right here. We're doing lead only today, guys, so stay tuned for the next patterning video. It'll be my go-to steel shot, which is a number two three-inch shell. But today we're using over-the-counter Walmart Federal seven and a half shot, ounce and an eighth, uh, two and three quarter, and uh, 1,200 feet per second shells. Just your your cheap old Federal box. So, wasting no time, like I said, load her up, let's get into it. All right, here we are. First off, 20 yards. I'm gonna steady up really good here. 20 yards. 30 yards. 40 yards. Ha! Now, what do you guys think? A lot of people uh, that have dropped comments below, they're like, uh, Bob, I think it's really gonna mess up the pattern. I think it's gonna go everywhere. Other people are like, well, look how long it is. I mean, this is a full length 12 gauge, waterfowl hunting gun. Uh, I guess you could go to a shorter barrel, but I, I kinda like how long it is. You can really reach out there, I guarantee it. Now, I'll be excited to get over there and see where I hit the goose, because like I said earlier, I'll have you guys look down the uh, barrel there, uh, the bead, the line of sight is kind of obstructed just a little bit by the end of that silencer. So today's a learning curve for me as well, trying to learn the gun if I'm shooting high or low so I can be smacking them birds out of the air like usual. Alrighty, silencer is on. And 40 yards. Yep. First time I've ever aimed at anything. That is weird. Gonna have to get used to that, boys. Let's go take a gander. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So we're gonna start at the 20 yard mark. Let's go ahead, pull these bad boys, put them down where we can see them both. So. Here we are, this is, um, let's put them like this. This is non-silenced and silenced. Look at that. 
see okay a little bit up here on the neck little this is this is silenced okay good thick part now this is non silenced a little on the head still tell me what you guys think down below so this is silenced see here and this is non silenced what do you think I think on the non I might have been aiming a hair high here but dude look at the butts few here a little more here there I mean they're extremely comparable at 20 yards huh all righty here we go 30 yards again let's lay them next to each other non silenced silenced let's put them like this so no suppressor with suppressor let's check them out here okay same deal spreading out more on the head Covering the butt a little more. Covering the butt a little more. Dude, they're identical. Freaking, I mean, this this one's definitely more concentrated, non-silenced in the middle at 30 yards, I would say. But, like I repeated earlier, I'm still learning to aim with it. But it looks really, man, it looks a lot alike. Huh. 40 yards let's check it out all right no suppressor with suppressor oh boy okay all right there we go that that is the telltale that's what I've been seeing as we were coming up here no suppressor with suppressor okay I mean, it's, that shows the telltale. Even this one, you can see it. This is 30 yards. More scattered, more room in between all them holes. Tighter. So, now number one, with the suppressor, it didn't make them go everywhere. It didn't bunch them up tight or, uh, you know, knock them around. It's still a uniform pattern, but... This is probably why a lot of gun manufacturers have struggled making hunting, you know, shotgun suppressors because controlling, um, controlling that shot going down that suppressor, I'm sure it does so much funky stuff. Here's my deal. If you want to be quiet and you're going to be taking close shots within heck within 40 yards i think i think with the suppressor definitely those long shots and this is kind of my statement those long shots like the hail mary you know 60 plus yards 50 plus yards probably don't want to do those right they're going to get messy way out there but 30 35 yards out to 30 35 really no difference not much at all with lead but i just know it still is 10 times which i'm i'm not a scientist and i'm not good at math i'm just gonna wing it 10 times harder right than lead lead compresses it molds it usually i mean i would say all the time patterns way better than steel steel when it comes out of a tight choke especially a tight choke and the bigger shot it bangs around all these uh, i i'm not even lying i'm very interested to see what the three inch number two shot's gonna do compared to the lead. Stay tuned for the next one, that's what we're doing. 100% though, 35 yards, patterns like a champion, no doubt. But one thing I'm gonna have to get used to on them flying birds is looking down that barrel and judging where my bead will be. I don't think it's that hard. I'm glad I use these decoys. Let me know down below. I, I think that that's perfect. It's better than paper. It's the actual size of a goose or a duck, you know. This is working. Dude, this thing's so awesome. I think that we can also do some other videos where we take it down. You know, we go, we go as short as it'll go. 
I still, I'm waiting on my DB readers, my decibel readers I ordered off of Amazon because we're going to do a comparison with the suppressor and without and see how big of a difference in noise in decibels that we're dealing with. I think public situations, uh, awesome. I think tight quartered timber situations where you're trying to be as quiet as possible for the next ducks coming, awesome. A lot of our goose hunts that we do, whether it's over water or field, you know, those flocks just keep rolling. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm really excited to find out what the steel does. Uh, and anybody out there that's saying, ah, I told you so, that's why no one uses silencers, hey, hey, welcome to the 20th century, pal. We all like gadgets. And not only that, but if there had been a huge difference at, let's say, 30 yards, I mean a massive difference where this thing was absolutely scattering, shot everywhere, okay, I would say you're right, but, it doesn't really do much. It doesn't, and it's so quiet. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. We are gonna keep doing the silencer videos, and then we're gonna get into the hunting. Turkey hunt coming y'all's way, just to let you know with the old silencer, pigeon hunts, starling hunts. Thought about doing some, we're just gonna shut up. Can you guys please do me a favor before you click out of here? Drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys wanna see most. Uh, videos in general here on the channel but especially with the silencer I want to know what you guys are into and I want to do videos that are going to entertain you because you guys give me the best ideas in the world when you just go down there real quick you're like man I'd like to see him do that thank you guys real quickly I am booking here at Sandhill Flyways if you're interested in bringing your buddies your dad your family your corporate event, your whole workforce, whatever, to come hunt with me here in central Kansas, go down in the description below, click on the Sandhill Flyways link, and fill out the booking form. I am booking right now, and there's great dates available. If you haven't waterfowl hunted here in central Kansas, you've got to try it. Thank you all for being here, but until next time. Got one out of that. Ooh, they might be coming back over the top, boys. There's one. Oh.